Hi, I'm Patrick Kicklon. And I'm Liam Tyndall. For our project, we perform linear regressions in order to test which piece of data has the most influence over the winner of an NFL game. The old saying goes that offense wins games, but defense wins championships. So we attempted to figure out what really wins games by testing several different pieces of data to see their effect on NFL teams' wins. We tested the effect of quarterback rating, turnover differential, penalty yards accrued, time of possession, yards per game, and yards per game allowed on the number of wins an NFL team earns in a season. The data that we collected came from five different NFL seasons from 2002 to today. We chose this range because 2002 was the first year that the NFL became a 32-team league. The reason behind using five seasons as opposed to all seasons during this time frame was due to the sheer amount of data this would require. The seasons were selected using a random number generator. We began by first running a singular variable linear regression for each separate variable to test each variable's correlation. Team quarterback rating had the second greatest R squared of all the X variables that we tested at .429. This tells us that the relationship between quarterback rating and wins is fairly strong in relation to the other variables that were tested. Of all the variables that we tested, turnover differential had both the highest correlation and the lowest standard of error of predicted wins. In contrast to the turnover differential, penalty yards was the least helpful in predicting wins and had the largest standard error. It can be seen from the scatter plot that there is a very weak negative correlation between the independent and dependent variables. Time of possession ended up not being the best predictor, but we noticed there was a slight positive correlation, though it wasn't very reliable. This can be seen by the somewhat high standard of error in relation to some of the other variables that we tested. Yards per game was a slightly better predictor than time of possession, but it still was not very reliable. Lastly, we found that while yards per game against had a negative effect on wind, as we predicted, the R-squared was the second lowest of all the data we tested. Here, we see a chart that provides a general summary of the data that was used. Below that, we have provided you with the equation for the multiple linear regression model. From this model, we can gather more information on our data. The resulting beta of the turnover differential is the highest, as was somewhat expected based on the singular linear regressions that we ran. However, the beta for time of possession is the second largest by a decent margin. This tells us that there may have been some omitted variable bias in the singular regressions, as the R-squared for time of possession was rather low compared to some of the other variables. Based on the results from the singular and multiple regressions, we decided to test whether the beta for one variable was truly greater than that of another variable. More specifically, we tested turnover differential, time of possession, and quarterback rating all against each other. As you can see, there was not sufficient evidence to conclude that the beta of turnover differential was greater than that of time of possession, or that time of possession's beta was greater than the quarterback rating's beta. However, there is evidence that suggests that the beta for turnover differential is greater than the beta for QB rating. After reviewing the results of our hypotheses tests and taking into consideration the regressions that we ran, we have concluded that turnover differential is the most responsible for wins of all the variables that we tested. Additionally, we believe that team quarterback rating and time of possession are about equally responsible for wins. Yards per game and yards per game allowed are both somewhat responsible for wins, while penalty yards have little to do with it. Economically, this is significant due to the huge amount of business associated with the NFL, because in the end, owners of NFL franchises are in the business of making money.